Hey everyone, my name is Justin, thanks for visiting my channel. In this video series, I want to highlight what I think are some of the most interesting new features and enhancements to ServiceNow in their latest release called San Diego coming this March of 2022. You already saw the thumbnail when you clicked on this video, so let's dive right into some San Diego goodness. Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about robotic process automation. That's the new RPA hub that's now part of Automation Hub. This is all new in San Diego. ServiceNow is taking some things with Integration Hub, robotic process automation, putting it together in a suite called Automation Hub. And uh, I'm going to make a couple of videos on robotic process automation and mostly it's going to be me showing you what I've learned because all of this is brand new. The first one, this video is going to be about the RPA Studio. This will be the first time in my career with ServiceNow besides uh, a mid server that I've actually downloaded software to install to my PC to integrate and work with ServiceNow, and that's gonna be RPA Studio. So let's not waste any more time, let's get to it. What you're gonna to wanna to do is start with robotic process automation in your filter navigator. It's gonna give you access to all the things that you have access to. Now the first one I know is gonna be downloads. And I basically want to download the Design Studio. That's what I want to show you. So we're just going to go on that journey together. I haven't done this before, so this is all going to be brand new. Let's go ahead and download that. Only 4.6 megabytes. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and open up that zip file and see what we have here. So I've got the robotic process automation desktop. It looks like a desktop design studio.msi file. And so what I want to do is just go ahead and run that. We'll click next, and I got a couple of options. I'm an admin on my PC, so I'm just going to go ahead and install this for everyone. Everyone is just me, basically. No one else uses my PC. Uh, we'll click next, and we'll go ahead and start the installation. Prompt. Wow, quick installation. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click close, and it looks like we might be all done with installing the RPA. A robotic process automation desktop design studio. Now, that's a mouthful. So we'll minimize that. I've got that set up. And I'm just gonna search now for robotic process and see if it comes up. Not there. So let's try RPA. There we go. So first lesson there, don't type in the name of the file, just type in RPA Desktop Design Studio. And let's open this up for the first time. I swear I've never seen this before, so I have no idea what to expect. Oh, it's over on my other screen. Let's drag that over so you can see it. All right, so we're gonna add ServiceNow instance details the San Diego instance and for my URL we'll go ahead and plug that in here and we will I'm just gonna leave this stuff unchecked um, we might come back and play that play with it later I don't want to mark it as default because I'm moving between a lot of instances as part of my job and as part of making these videos and I don't necessarily want to I want to control what browser it launches into because I actually use three of them Firefox um, Edge and Chrome and sometimes in Chrome I'm using profiles so I'm just going to leave these blank but your mileage may vary for how you want to set this up. Let's go ahead and hit proceed. Oh we've got a nice little graphic, got our robot there. Looks like he's juggling a square. Pretty cool. Looks like we're doing some downloading and installing. Installing, downloading. Okay so that little installation that we had at the beginning wasn't the complete picture there. There's actually some downloading and installing going on uh, once you have the application up. All right, looks like we got some action, and don't see anything yet. Uh, it moves screens again. Let's drag it back over. All right, so what happened in the speed up there? It downloaded and installed a bunch of files. There are a bunch of files, so um, I'll definitely take a look at that. But here we got something new. So, hi user, welcome to the RPA Desktop Design Studio. Create a new automation project so we can create unattended attended automations or skill automation. I have no work or projects because I've just installed this thing. Um, I've got some resources, some components that looks like I'm going to use as part of my automating. And uh, let's see, let's click on new. There's the same three buttons we were seeing there earlier. Click on open. Okay, so I can have local and remote projects and jump back into things that I've been working on. Let's explore the settings. Okay, so that's where I have my local location on my computer. And it looks like about it. So I was actually kind of hoping for a guided tour, and I don't see one. But let's just be brave and do an unattended automation. Now I promise I'll make some other videos. Um, first unattended automation. Copy that there, put it in the description. I just want there to be some other content here. Now I do have an advanced tab, so let's see what that looks like. 
essential toolkit, essential connectors. Looks like I could change the quantity on that. I have no idea what that stuff is. I can change the location. We'll click OK. All right, now we're getting to some canvas type stuff where I'd be exploring objects over here on the left hand side. I've got some toolboxes. This is kind of reminding me of the Microsoft one that you can install on your desktop um, that Microsoft provides. It has a very similar look and feel. Um, so I can go back home there and get out of there. Uh, my design tab, got some actions along there on the top. I've got the starting and ending. So it looks like whatever I do, I'm gonna be building it here on the canvas in the middle. And uh, let's see over on the right, I've got some project explorer. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Visual Basic too, maybe dating myself a little bit there, but um, this little explorer here on the side kind of reminds me of that. But uh, yeah, pretty basic there. I'm not, you know, I don't, didn't go into this thinking that I was gonna build something live in the video, but I wanted you to show the application being installed on my local desktop. And uh, we're gonna have some follow-on videos of where I actually configure some unattended and attended automations as we start to explore this new product from ServiceNow. That's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next video. This is just one of many San Diego highlight feature videos I'm gonna make. So if you liked it, please share it with a colleague. If you'd like to support me, please like, subscribe. If there's something you wanna see that I didn't show and you wanna get it on the list of things that we're gonna cover on this channel, drop me a note in the comment. I'll definitely check all those. And other than that, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for your time.